All right, a re-review re from my previous channel. It's from the Emmanuel Private Collection. The one's with Natasha Vermeer. We're going to watch the first one, Emmanuel Sex Goddess. Let's watch. Emmanuel is listening to like a book on tape of this poet or storyteller named Abigail, her favorite. I arrive at her door after enough answerless rings. I dim the lights to be in the dark. Who was she? Why did her words arouse me so much? Would I ever see her again? She's referring to Abigail, of course, the poet. She's talking to her friend about uh, Expands in my chest. Abigail, and she gets horny. Manuel, what are you doing? I see into her as she turns. And the next thing you know, we get some naughtiness played out. I don't know if she's still reading or if she's just uh, watching on her little camcorder there. But it's two women, and uh, it's pretty cool, but I can't show you a damn thing. Emmanuel really, 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 really enjoys what this book does to her. Abigail! Where are you? She might be losing her mind. Where? Look, in the water. Anyway, this dude comes over to teach her how to play the flute. I'm coming just for you. Her and the flute player then end up together. As I'm sure you would have expected. And we have lesbians. Who share a banana. Now we meet Steve, who I think is her boyfriend or something. That's alright. I was just having a bad time, huh? You feeling any better? Thank. I really miss you, Emmanuel. You do? <laughs> What's the matter? You don't believe me? Abigail, where are you? I think they were gonna have phone sex or something. Who's Abigail? Abigail, I can't take it anymore. She's thinking about someone else. Where are you? I can show you virtually nothing of this too, but there's a scene where Emmanuel like pours milk and chops it all over herself in an erotic way. I'd say I'm coming. I'm coming just for you. This is definitely Abigail. Well, my teacher's not a plagiarist. But he didn't write this. So this is the teacher who wrote that book, which she clearly I says last night. is Abigail's and why writing. Has anybody else seen her? She's probably just a ghost. Good luck, Phantom. Are you there? Are you there, Abigail? Oh, yeah. He's now pretending to be Abigail. Flowers. Yeah, look, we have to talk about something. I just wanted to let you know how happy I am that I met you. Look, I just wanted to tell you that... You think James and I are... I manifest myself in many forms. Throughout this Emmanuel private collection, they keep showing scenes of like, I don't know, With Rio de Janeiro or something. Festivals. The final charge against the monsters. They seem to have nothing to do with the films. That's ridiculous. If I read her poetry, there's this deep feeling of love inside of me. It's like she's speaking directly to me. Because it's you, Emmanuel. That's crazy. I don't write poetry. This is Abigail? This is the girl that was on the phone with us? Her man has come home. Abigail! And then she kisses Emmanuel. Abigail, I need to talk to Abigail. Abigail. I need to speak to you. 
please have a go you know me as i know you yes and then everybody returns Things get weird here. I am Abigail. I am Abigail. And I guess it's the next morning and she leaves. Maybe I was right. Abigail was inside me all along. And now that we have become one, I felt liberated. But before our film ends, there is one final love scene in the swimming pool, which I can't really show you much of. All right. Emmanuel, Sex Goddess. This was the set of Emmanuel movies. I think this was the third set before Emmanuel in Space. I take that back. Uh, Emmanuel in Space was the third set. I think this was the fourth set. I don't know. It's hard to keep track of all these. Maybe it was the fifth set. Actually, it may have been. I don't know. It was after. I don't know if it was before. Or after. Who cares? I think it was after the Holly Sampson one. The first ones were with uh, uh, Sylvia Crystal. The second ones were also with Sylvia Crystal. The third ones were Emmanuel in Space. The fourth ones were the ones with Holly Sampson. The fifth one, Emmanuel Private Collection. Okay, Natasha Vermeer. Here we go. So anyway, uh, she took over the role from Holly Sampson in 2003, 2004, did seven movies. I think I have them in the right order here. I think Sex Goddess was the first one, although IMDb disagrees with me now. I don't know. It's hard to know. This actress here did like eight movies, and seven of them were Emmanuel movies, and she just kind of disappeared. I guess she's a, a model, I guess, but she did almost virtually nothing else movie-wise except Emmanuel. So anyway, these are official Emmanuel movies, um, and we basically follow, there's seven movies here, we follow, uh, I, we just follow along. Um, in this one here, she's obsessed with this poet named Abigail. She's a poet, she's a writer, whatever. Um, and then we hear her as she reads the words of Emmanuel. Every time she reads about Ab Abigail, she gets turned on. Her friends come over, they have sex with each other, women, men. She sees some scenarios played out. Uh, she has this boyfriend or something named Steve, uh, who's like away in business or something. And uh, they were like going to have phone sex or something. And um, she starts screaming Abigail's name. So he's like confused. What the hell? Who's Abigail? And she's like, no, I'm here alone. I'm here alone. Um, anyway, then she meets this flute player. And they end up boning. And then um, she meets this guy who is a writer. His mom's name is Abigail. Um, and his friend of Emmanuel is reading uh, something from this book. And she's like, those are Abigail's writings. Uh those are Abigail's. And her friend says, well, I'm sure my professor isn't a plagiarist, but I'm going to have him over for tea so you can meet him. So they meet. They end up boning. He pretends to be Abigail. And then he, he's telling her friend, well, maybe I really am Abigail. I don't know. Um, and then there's a weird scene at the end where everybody comes back, the flute player, a friend. And uh, also there's this other woman who claims to be Abigail. And then the, her boyfriend, Steve, comes back and there's a threesome there. She sleeps with Abigail. I don't know. I don't know who the fuck Abigail was, but uh, she's in Aunt Manuel's mind. I don't know. She's crazy. And then the last scene is kind of like Manuel's leaving the house because she says, oh, me and Abigail are now one. I don't know. I don't know. And then they finish off with one more love scene. I don't know what the hell's going on with this movie. Uh, it's really not there for a plot wise. Uh, I'd love to be able to review it and tell you all of the all the plot points, but I think I did the best I could, and I think that's about all you're going to get out of this movie, other than you know copious amounts of nudity. There's plenty of it in here. There's some pretty dirty stuff too. Uh, full frontal nudity. Um, yeah, it's not hardcore porn or anything like that, but it's it's teetering on the edge. Put it that way. So, but it's it's nice too. And this actress Natasha Vermeer, absolutely gorgeous, stunning actress. So. Uh, there you go. I don't know what else I can say about Emmanuel Sex Goddess. I'll be watching the next one soon. Emmanuel uh, Secret Desires of uh, Jesse, I think it's called. But anyway, check it out. Let me know what you think about it. These are hard to find, by the way. Um, uh, this I've actually seen this compilation a few times on eBay, um, but I think it's kind of dried up a bit. I've had this for several years, so glad I got it. But anyway, check it out. I think this is available on uh, some other uh, single DVDs also, although some of those are getting pricey. Like there's an Emmanuel versus Dracula on here. I've seen somebody on eBay selling it for $500. Don't spend $500 on that. But anyway, 
Check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Emmanuel Sex Goddess. Watch it. Bye.